王立国境騎士団ヘルシング機関を継ぎし裏はかき乙女<笑>インテグラパルブルケウィンゲーツヘルシング I'm sorry that's a fucking title Jesus I live in the UK where we've got a queen and all that stuff and even all those numpties titles aren't half as long as bloody that アニウイいや君の父君が亡くなるまで私は20年も待ったというのに So you're saying he's not your brother? If not, the no isn't really required and only serves to undermine your first half of the statement, bruh! Exposition, though, since she would know she was made head of the family at the hour of his death if she was made head of the family at the hour of his death. Integra. It's no wonder the damn guy died when you sat with an important looking piece of medical gear at the end of his bed? How's that helping anyone? Or is it useless and being taken away because he's officially dying regardless any moment and you're now just oddly stood there watching him give his final words? I don't even know which is worse. Get out of the room if you're taking it away, you weirdo. I know it's meant to look artsy, but this literally makes me feel like I'm slightly tipping over on one side. Yeah, no need to give her any additional information when you can instead be both coy and elusive. Why isn't this building and the gravestones and stuff visible from this view, though? ヘルシング局長インテグラファルブルケウィンゲーツヘルシング卿 Oh, come off it! Is this gonna happen a lot? You're already talking to her anyway, and according to the start of the damn sentence, she already told you once, and then in order to ask again, you use her entire bloody title! ですからあの村にはバンパイアがいますクールバンパイアだと<笑> No, that would be insane! そんなオカルト話を信じろというのかあなた方のようなコッパ役には知らなかっただろうし知らなくていいんですが And yet you told him not once but twice 第2第3班捜索隊からの無線が消えました In fairness he'd have lost communication since they're no longer responding back You wouldn't lose signal because your soldier got killed only if they went out of range whilst communicating 数時間で蹴りがつくでしょう no one moved! What the hell caused the light to shine on their glasses? Yes? Is this a world where professional killers just don't exist? <laughs> I'm gonna come out and say this is a nitpick, but that laugh really didn't seem to fit what the animators were going for right there. Just saying. <laughs> CGI! We're never once shown them moving towards him, but suddenly they're all surrounding him a moment later. Not gonna lie, that was the longest pause to tell someone your name in the history of people waiting fairly long times to reveal their names for effect. Not that anyone is watching and she's only just found out that she's now a vampire and maybe she could be given a couple of seconds to freak out before calming down for the rest of her life in public. Can't show it, but this dude gets shot a lot, and yet, when the view changes and he's firing, there's absolutely no visible damage, even though the main dude goes on to comment on how he's unable to heal his wounds. <laughs> Why would you think that when he's actually speaking out loud? I mean, you were told in some detail about the fact that you're a vampire now. Did you pay attention at the time, you silly goose, you? Yeah, I really don't think we needed that sound effect a third time in 30 seconds. I'd show the other two, but they came alongside lots and lots of corpses. Also, this anime officially joins the list of other anime that have given characters massive officers with absolutely naff all in them and quite pointlessly as well, no less. If anyone does not love the Lord, 
Jesus Christ. Let him be accused, O Lord, come, amen. Accursed, not accused, boy! <laughs> nice of all of them to randomly come out of their rooms at the same time. I wonder how they managed to stretch this episode out! Tons of exposition though, since surely he knows that information given that he just hurried to report it to you with some level of urgency. I'm with her on this one, Father Alexander Anderson? Ooh, what happened here? Tilted so much it fell out of the frame? <laughs> really? I thought that was incredibly withheld. She's barely making a sound. It's hardly cries of agony, is it? All of a sudden, for the first time, bullets can straight up be blocked. Seriously? Again? <laughs> Why would you give him a warning when he killed your boss, almost killed you, killed her bodyguards, and is now actively attacking your boss? Reaction occurs long after an attack cliche. So sugai. Waga Arushi. Integra Fambruke Wingates Herushi. Do you seriously have to though? Toshi Integra. Whatever enter Kaimyo Shoshu Stato Yugotova. Yohodo no Kotonga. This dude wasn't allowed a second armrest because he's got a Hitler mustache. Herzing Kyo. Hi. <laughs> the guy sets her up to dog, and then pretty much everyone else speaks instead. This older gentleman would be good at anime sense. <gasps> that seems like just a slight bit of overkill for one dude. Just a little bit though. Check this dude out playing pointless riddles whilst the enemy is quickly making their way towards them. Apparently, all of them were just shooting just to his left and just to his right throughout that entire speech. Alright, this moment looked pretty good. The CGI definitely improved after episode 1 in 2006. And of course, this is my boy Knuckle from Hunter x Hunter, so take one off! <laughs> Originally, the butler who gave him the weapon told him it holds six bullets, but here he's clearly firing absolutely loads! <laughs> No, that would be insane! Maybe! You could put it that way, if you were an idiot! No, a vase containing some beautiful looking flowers! If this mercenary working for the group is aware of their mission, why would he oddly describe it as him going to South America for a leisurely trip? <laughs> These bits feel so weird compared to everything else in the anime. You lot really gotta pack it in with the hugely long titles all the time, man. 
This might have sounded way more confident had she not taken 30 seconds to answer his question in the first place. Saying someone's title instead of talking normally cliche, and by the way, I was damn kind. She's done this probably a dozen times over these almost three episodes, so only one sin is a true kindness. The idea that in that scenario, the guy wasn't already button bashing that clothes button. What ability is he using there to knock all of those people out of different windows clearly standing quite far away from one another? Also it's a bit weird that none of them shot him when he entered the ground floor as nothing can be heard from outside and was shown none of them firing as he walks out of the elevator. I can't show but every single one of them flies out the hotel windows as shown and lands perfectly on random spikes outside and to that I say Bull There are soldiers clearly right outside the hotel chilling out, even when there's been explosions and their comrades getting killed seemingly right by there. Master! 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 Kind of weirdly said the name of the organization twice for some reason. No, the other one! Did she disappear to? <laughs> they let this little fairy kid set up this box, knowing full well he's one of their enemy. Not being funny, but that could have easily been a bomb that then took literally everyone out in the room, other than maybe Alucard, but even the Queen was there. <laughs> Asking someone if they're awake when they're awake, brought to you by, as always, Nippon! Of all of the things you could say, you came up with a weird excuse that isn't even remotely true. <laughs> now how the bloody hell would you know that it was a musket shot of all things? They can hear her from inside the cabin. Just how was he able to push it that far into her chest before it even started to bleed? <laughs> Probably more accurate to say I used to like, given that it was 55 years ago at this point and they haven't been used since in any capacity. For the record, this scene goes on way too long talking about all of the kinds of warfare he likes. In fact, I wager it goes on for so long I can't even squeeze the entire scene into this segment where I talk about it. It goes on and on and on for ages, dude. We get it, dude. You friggin' enjoy war. Get on with it! Except for the fact that at the start you said there's less than a thousand of your boys left, but yeah. All of these people, seemingly in the middle of the world's most longest and most boring war related speech of all damn time, decided to, all at the same time, start saying his name and rank and stuff. Just suddenly. I don't know, this is weird. Dear Lord, what the hell is the point in randomly and suddenly focusing on Bruce Willis so much? I absolutely straight up point blank refuse to believe that everyone is saying these random sounding sentences all at the same time. 
調査キャビネットウォールオースはバカかしら当然だトラファルガー広場はいかがしますか調査と燃やせタワーブリッジは落とせロンドン橋もだ歌のようにジーズスコットダムクライスマンウィケットオーレディクローゼットクローゼット What's the point in the toast then? What an oddly and unlikely fortuitous looking series of fires that nicely fit their logo agenda. Integra Helsing is a tanshin. Kurikais. Sigit. Hosokse. Izato. Gotta love how ideal it was for her that literally every single soldier dropped into London, despite the fact that where she's driving looks like a war ravaged land, happens to be behind her. Much, bruh. What the hell was the aim there other than to awkwardly look into her car as you run alongside it? <laughs> what part of Capture Her did this guy not get? <laughs> yeah, you've met him not once, but twice. The undead baddies have guns but instead decide to charge at their enemy and try and hit them with their guns instead. Nathan Burr, Bird Without a Word, Arias Alibari, PK Fan, Arman Jasuja, Isael Caldera, Lawrence, Chris Harris, Yona Schal, Minono Sorcedo Munoz, Little Duck, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Sentimento, Silver, Master Tank, Boogie, MD McVeigh, Aurora, Kevin Nalta, Stefio, Joel Rosenfeld, Brendan Creo, Spirit Spinner, Gustavo Gomez Canero, Mr. Waffles 64, Theodore Quackens, Kaj Vorzelman, Jordan Samuels, Gabby Z, Amya Homier, Crimson Shadows, Dylan Duchamp.